Hey everybody, so this is a video about my desk setup for YouTubing slash creative working, creative-ing, I don't know. So my desk is from a company called Floyd and they make really beautiful, minimal furniture. I love this desk, it's really solid, was super easy to put together. It's also like really expensive, but for me it's been Amazing. The one that I have is actually called the table and I have it in the blush with the white legs. It just looks really nice. It doesn't look too pink. In the photo, it looks kind of pink, but it's not really pink. I also have the Floyd brackets. Those are brackets that you buy by themselves. And I have a piece of wood that I got at Home Depot that I put in the brackets. They're like actually really easy to install and it works as my shelf for my gear. So I can sort of display my camera gear and it fits in really nicely with the look of my desk. So really happy with the two of these products. Another piece of furniture that I have is this little filing cabinet from Laura Furniture where I can keep all my files and some gear in here. It's, it's lockable too, which is kind of nice. So I like this, it goes really well with the look of the desk. It fits really nicely off to the left-hand side and I have plenty of room on the right-hand side of the desk to work. The chair that I'm using is the Fully Desk Chair, which I really like a lot. Before this, I had one of those sort of faux, like mid-century plastic chairs that looked cool, but it was so uncomfortable. So this chair has really been a life changer. It's really comfortable. It's easy to roll around and just work in. I mean, it's a chair. It's really great. Um, it's worked really well for me, and I think it looks pretty good in the space as well. Attached to the side of the desk, I have my Rode pod mic, which is what I'm recording into right now with the Rode pod mic arm. I'll link all of this in the description. This microphone is incredible. It's been so great for me. I pretty much use it on all of my talking head YouTube videos, really love it. And I actually like the look of the arm. It's super convenient to just have it connected right here to the desk. And the audio interface that I'm using is just the Scarlett Focusrite Solo. So I just plug in the XLR cable from the Rode PodMic to the Scarlett where I can adjust the gain. And usually I record right into GarageBand and then just export my audio file from there and sync it in post with the video. So the computer that I have that's running this whole setup is the 16 inch MacBook Pro from 2021. I have it in the 64 gigabytes of memory with two terabytes of SSD storage. This computer rocks, it's awesome. It's been amazing for me. It's so fast and efficient. I love having a laptop that I can take with me whenever I need to. I find that especially for photo and video work, it's, it's really great. Lightroom runs incredibly quickly. I've also transitioned to video editing in Final Cut Pro and that has been just insanely life-changing how fast I can export videos. Editing videos is a breeze. Editing with 4K is just a breeze. It's just incredible. I've had no issues with this computer for the work that I do, which is of course YouTube content, wedding videos, wedding photography, so for this type of photo and video editing, this machine is just incredible. I have a little MacBook stand behind the display that's holding the MacBook. This is from Grovemade. They make really, really beautiful stands and desk accessories. So check them out if you're looking for a laptop stand or some type of desk organization products. They're really fantastic. As you can see, I've also invested in one of the new studio displays from Apple. This is the one that you can actually lift higher or lower. I did have to wait longer in order to get this and I also got it in the nano textured glass for glare because as you can see there are lots of windows in my bedroom so having this glass to sort of reduce the glare is really helpful. I love this monitor. I think it's really beautiful. It looks great on the desk. The quality is really great. It definitely does have a more matte feel because of that nano textured glass and it takes a little bit of getting used to but I actually really like it. It does a good job of decreasing the amount of glare on the screen. I think all in all, this is a really beautiful display. It's totally worth it to have a display that connects seamlessly to the MacBook. It's basically exactly like having a desktop setup that I can also take with me wherever I need to. It can just unplug the MacBook and go. I also have the new black Apple keyboard with the numeric keypad and the black Apple Magic Mouse that connect to my MacBook for my desktop setup.
Behind the display is where I have all of my cables and hard drives. So I have quite a few G drives behind the display. I've sort of tucked away the wires as much as I can. I don't really have any efficient way of cable management right now, but this is sort of working for me at the moment. So the big G drives are mostly backup drives. I work off of smaller SSD drives, which just plug into the computer and then I can work from them. It's nice that the monitor also has USB-C ports and the laptop has a few USB-C ports as well. So I feel like I have plenty of ports to plug into for all of my editing on the various drives and various backup drives. I also have a couple of Apple HomePod minis. I have one here in my bedroom and I have one over in the next room, which is my kitchen and living room. And I've synced them pretty much every day. I'll pop on a playlist from Spotify and just play it in my apartment. And I love having the music in both rooms. I don't use them to listen to audio from my computer because I find that there's a substantial lag. The speakers on the studio display are really good. So if I need to listen to anything just on the display, I'm happy to do that. Otherwise I'll use my Sony over your headphones or my AirPods Pro for audio while I'm working. And then of course I have some nice photos and my degree on the wall, which is, which is just nice. So I think that's it for my desk setup. When I started shooting, I was literally using a MacBook Air from 2013 for editing all of my photos. And I used that for a few years before upgrading to uh, an iMac. This is a lot of expensive gear and it's definitely not necessary to get you started, but hopefully it's something that is interesting to you, something that you can look forward to purchasing in the future as an investment for your business. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a like. If you're new here, consider subscribing. I'd love to see you at the next video. Thank you, thank you as always for watching and I'll see you soon, bye. Love is free.